Welcome to the channel from Living Well Services at St Wilfred's Hospice in Chichester. You may have already listened into our podcast, but if not, you will find more detailed information contained within our podcast episodes. With these videos, we aim to provide you with key tools and techniques to help you breathe a little easier and to give you a visual demonstration of what we talk about in the podcasts. In this video, we will do an extended practice using this technique. The main aim with this is to enable you to feel confident that you can control your breathing and slow it down when it becomes rapid and strained, but also for it to ultimately feel gentle and relaxed. As you become more practiced, the technique will come more naturally until it feels easier and more of a habit, requiring less effort and concentration. With breathing control, you are trying to slow your breathing down to a relaxed and steady rhythm, making the most efficient use of your main breathing muscle, the diaphragm. This should also help to reduce anxiety around your breathing. It should feel comfortable rather than forced, so if you find that slowing your breathing down feels effortful and uncomfortable, just adjust the rhythm until it feels right for you. As a general rule, we breathe out for twice as long as we breathe in. So, if you breathe in for a count of one, you breathe out for a count of two. And if you breathe in for a count of two, you breathe out for a count of four. However, this can vary from person to person. But keep this in mind as a guide while you find a rhythm which feels comfortable to you. To help with this, you can use a technique called rectangle breathing. All around you are rectangles. TVs and computer screens, a mobile phone, a toaster, a window, a pillow, a box of tissues, a table, to name but a few. You can use these to help establish a pattern with your breathing. Trace the edge of the rectangle with your eyes, breathing in along one short edge, then out along a long edge. Breathe in along the other short edge, and then breathe out along the other long edge. If this feels too difficult, start with a square object or image, taking equal length breaths in and out. I will now guide you through a practice using the breathing control technique. Please follow my guidance as best you can, but if you find that you feel uncomfortable or experience any dizziness at all, just stop and relax and allow your breathing to return to normal before trying again if you feel able. You can do this practice with your eyes open or closed, whichever makes you feel more comfortable. First ensure that you are comfortable and that your shoulders are relaxed. We hold a lot of tension in the muscles of our shoulders and necks. So if you are stressed, try relaxing your shoulders by giving them a shrug and then releasing and letting them go. Then again, raise your shoulders up so that they are by your ears, hold them there for a moment and then release and let them go. If it feels comfortable to do this practice with your eyes closed, Please let your eyelids close gently now. Now, I would like you to imagine that you have a candle in front of you, just about a foot or two in front of your face. On each outward breath, I would like you to pretend that you are trying to make the flame of the candle flicker gently by blowing out gently through lightly pursed lips. On the inward breath, just relax and allow the air to waft gently back in through your nose if this feels comfortable, or otherwise through your mouth. Then again, blow out softly. And when the outward breath comes to a natural pause, allow the air to waft back in gently. Continue with these gentle in and out breaths, finding a rhythm which feels comfortable for you.
If you have your hand on your belly, as you breathe in, you should feel your hand move outwards as your chest fills with air and the diaphragm flattens down. As you breathe out, you should feel your hand move back in as the diaphragm relaxes back up and the air leaves your chest. If you find you have lost your way or rhythm, don't worry. Just take a moment to pause and reset. Focus again on the image of the candle. Allow the air to waft in through your nose or mouth, then blow out softly, as if to get the flame of the candle in front of you to flicker. Continue with these in and out breaths, adjusting the length to find a rhythm which is comfortable for you. Well done. Hopefully that practice felt comfortable and relaxing. Some people get the hang of it the first time, but for some of you, it may have felt a little more challenging. Please don't worry or feel disheartened if this is the case. The more you practice, the easier it will become. We hope you have found this video interesting, helpful, and reassuring. 
If you would like to find out further information and access resources, including printable written resources, please visit the St Wilfrid's Hospice website at stwh.co.uk. Thank you for watching. Thank you.